Police are investigating after a baby was found unresponsive in a home in Clear Creek Township. Good evening, everyone. I'm Curtis Fuller. And I'm Molly Lair. The baby was rushed to the hospital. WLWT News 5's Dan Griffin is live tonight at Children's Hospital with the latest. Dan. Well, Molly and Curtis, police tell us that CPR was performed on that baby boy who, according to a 911 call, was limp. Tonight, we talked with his mother, who didn't want to talk on camera, but also his great aunt, who both tell us that he died today after being taken off of life support. He laid there limp, and all we could do was pray. Crystal Hipshire is struggling with the thought of two-month-old Caden Colwell lifeless in a bed at Cincinnati Children's Hospital. This picture shared with us by a relative of someone holding him close. He was at the point where he was gooing. When you looked at him, he would coo and just laugh. And he had a little brother that thought the world of him. And he would smile always. 911 dispatchers got a tearful call from the baby boy's father on Thursday saying Caden wasn't responsive at a home on State Route 123 in Warren County. The father could be heard on the line giving little Caden CPR. The baby boy was eventually flown to Children's, put on life support, and tested. Severe head trauma caused by physical abuse. And the doctors confirmed by eye exam that he was shaken. The two month old's great aunt says his birth was part of a new beginning for the family with big milestones ahead. Now, Clear Creek Township police are investigating what happened as his family waits, heartbroken, wanting answers. I know we have to plan a funeral, and we shouldn't be. We should be doing Easter eggs and celebrating Easter next week. Instead, we're going to be celebrating a life, but it was cut too short. All right, and tonight, Clear Creek Township police are still digging into what exactly happened, and at this point, tell us they have no suspect information. We're live at Children's Hospital. Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5. Dan, thank you. The family has started a GoFundMe account to help with expenses. We'll have a link to that on WLWT.com.